Yeah, I was expecting this to go a little bit faster, but... Oh, this is okay. I got 40 seconds. I'll finish mining, and then we'll pop into the dungeon. Hopefully, it'll be something a little bit more interesting. Oh, I'll throw in the axe, too. And then switch to the bow, secretly. Like a dirty person. I Honestly, all I have to do is just max, max the bow out. That's like three kills. Why do I have to cast this? I guess it's so I don't have to worry about... Uh, I guess I don't have to worry about... Or not worry about, think about? I don't know. Ooh, fishy business. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to do. Am I here? Oh, they're all waiting for me. I was the slow one. Whoopsie. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to be a snare burglar for a bit here. Considering how much fame these guys give, if I can max out that bow and switch back to being an axe fighter... That'd be for the best. I just realized we're, like, reduced. We're down a party member. Well, it'll probably give us another one. And I'm already... I'm already at a learning point for Leather Shoes Fighter. Oh, this is encouraging. What am I doing on that bow? I don't know, it's probably, like, this... This guy's the last one. Oh! Destiny fulfilled. Okay. I mean, the other option is I could keep being a snare burglar and just work on the bow. But honestly, I, th I think I just want to see what kind of T we uh, T3 weapons I can pick up here. Because I think I'll just buy one of each and try them out. I do think I'm probably just going to keep to... Uh, Leather. Oh, interesting. I do have kind of a robish thing going on now. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I feel like robes are more of a uh, an armor set for not me. I'm the kind of guy that likes to... Oh, I'm getting hammered. Well, at least I got the extra HP, so I, I'm not as vulnerable in my, my T4 leather gear. That's kind of a nice, nice little benefit. I'm still leaning axe fighter just because, I don't know, being some kind of, like, crazy-looking headsman guy is cool. So really, this is... no. Ah, leather hood fighter. Can't believe I'm ready at a learning point for that. I'm gonna quickly learn all of these. I want to make the most of it. If I can get up to T5 ge gear when I hit uh, T3 Reaver, that's probably a good idea. Same thing with axes. There's the learning point. There's also the Great Axe one. I don't know. I Honestly, maybe I should just uh, be satisfied, uh, live with axes. Oh, I hit a milestone with Axe, axe Fighter. Wait, gotta take a look at that. Oh, I get a spell, Fear Strike. Oh, that's that's the uh, alternate um, melee attack here. I'm noticing you can also dual wield. Something to look into. Not sure if it's uh, something that I'm specifically interested in. I, I really have no idea uh, of, like, any specific builds. I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to run with whatever, see what works. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if it does work, it does work. It's just lost time. I just want to try everything at least once. I, it'd almost be kind of nice if there's a, um, a room that you could go into and just be like, okay, I want to learn uh, these things. Or I, I want to try out one of each thing here. So I want to try out daggers. I want to try out, out axes. I want to try out spears. We're getting shot at. I'm stunned. Should probably get out of the way of that. Because yeah, I, I really have no idea which uh, speciality I'm going to like the most. It still seems like axes are kind of the, uh, the best way to go just because of the versatility for them. Maybe less uh, useful from like a tanking perspective. I 
We might be in trouble here. I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, I have now drawn the ire. That's okay. Maybe. I don't know. This poor healer has got his work cut out for him plus. At least the, uh... At least this guy's almost done. I'm so glad I'm up to T4 gear. This would have been... This would have been problem town. Oh, there's more. I'm just gonna sit on top of this guy. I say this poor healer, but the dude seems to be, uh... Kicking some ass. This is the, like, worst possible pull, and we're... Managing to do it. I guess I'm glad I didn't just go, uh... And stick with my bow like a complete chump... Chump whistle. That would have been the mean thing to do. Luckily, I'm not I'm not that bad of a person. Still worth looking into, though. Variety is the spice of life. Oh, this is a chest. It does look like the spear users. Uh, well, I guess we'll go for the. Uh, this guy, let this spear user die. Jeez. Uh, well, he's done. Should probably hit these guys so they don't hit the uh, healer, though. I'm all for the uh, the DPS who pulls like a a jerk. Oops. Oh, come on, dude. I'm hitting you so hard. I'm gonna die for this. Yep, I'm dead. I get the fe- oh jeez, yeah, he's still got some T2 gear on him. We have, uh, maybe picked up a bit of a bad tank. We'll probably be fine. It looks like this healer is, um, a champion. Looks like his- Oh, wait, no, that just means I can't use it. But yeah, he's got a bunch of T4 stuff. I could have better tank gear than this. Oh, it's okay. I will live. It'd be nice if I could pull up my... Oh, I... Can I... Can I not pull up my inventory here? I can almost pull up my inventory. Yeah, having T2 gear at this point, it seems kind of wildly inexcusable to me. Don't know, might just be my opinion. Ooh, should remember to actually repair some st stuff after this. But yes, I am glad that I've gone leather to some degree. Because that situation would be significantly less survivable. Okay, is that... Yep, they're up here. Is there anybody else? Yeah, there's this guy. Does seem like Spear looks kind of fun. I don't know, honestly, it looks like every weapon I... Kind of within the same classifications has... Oops. Most weapons within the same class class, like two-handed, one-handed, whatever, generally has about the same DPS, and after that point, it's just flavor. I'm sure there are actually massive differences that are, that are worth, like, considering. Did we, oh, we did hit him there. Ow, we, that hurts. Okay, let's not do that. So this guy's kind of that boss from the other zone. That's neat that he's become a regular enemy. Good for him. Well, I guess it's a, a T3 boss turned into a regular enemy in a T4 zone. I can see it. Nope, run. That is the one unfortunate thing. I do not do uh, nearly as much damage when I have to run away. I wonder if, um, I wonder if there, I mean, I'm sure there are actually, like, probably people that have already sat down and, like, done all the numbers. Beep, beep, beep. And there he goes. Middle of his spin. Oh, was that the boss? That was the boss. 
or mini boss. Makes sense. I was wondering about that. There's our answer. Actually, I'm like, I was maybe a little bit dismissive of the visual style about this game when I got when I'm getting into it, but I think I actually rather enjoy it. I think my only real complaint about it is the uh, the lack of depth, uh, or not depth, breadth, maybe. I feel like uh, they did themselves kind of a disservice by only having like a couple different biome types. I think this game would be would have been really nice if there was like a billion different uh, types of zones from jungle to like heck a fully underground zone could be kind of neat. I mean, I guess that's what this is, but like you know, an actual like explorable zone that you do with people. Well, not with people that you can like just farm on your own. And, you know, if there were, like, different resource combinations. Because I've noticed for the most part, except for the fact that, um, cloth stuff can be found in different zones. Uh, for the most part, you find, you know, the same exact resources next to each other. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You know, you find animals in the woods and you find stone next to metal. Really, probably get some energy back. I'm running on empty. Less empty, but still empty. Oh. There's my random contribution of rough stone. That's probably good enough. Yeah, I mean, we're... Despite the fact that, uh... Despite the fact that this uh, this dungeon worries me, or this this fighter tank, the tank worries me. The healer has more or less made him uh, made up for his like limitations, and well, that's good. Let's see if there's any like uh, special names I should look at, because I actually haven't looked. We've got you know the Almighty Dink, Blah, Crazy Dog, and Teak. Teak is. Definitely, uh, definitely healing like a champion. Okay. But yeah, it would definitely be worth it in a night or two to specifically sit down and just, uh... Like, sit down in a night or two and just say, whoops, well, maybe I shouldn't be face tanking the, uh, whoops. The fighter enemy. Then again, I've noticed the, like, big bruiser guys don't do nearly as much damage. As the other one, so I guess me face tanking him is not so bad. Don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely hitting the end of my hours. I wanted to get one last dungeon in, seeing as I only got one other one in. I was expecting to do a lot of other things today, but I just kind of ended up doing whatever. Which, I mean, is fun, too. But I think some level of, like, focus here would be a good idea. Uh, specifically, if I can get up to T5 Reaver and T5 Gear and a bunch of other things. Though, I mean, it looks like it's uh, going pretty fast, especially by the fact that I can rely on the learning points to kind of sustain me. Yeah, let's get away from that. <laughs> Might as well not overtax that poor healer any more than I already do. And I do. I guess I should probably take a drink. This has been a surprisingly busy, unbusy week. I've got such a huge backlog for like almost all of my series, I probably could afford to take a little bit more of a break than I have been. Unfortunately, my, um... No, I should probably go for the Crazed Totem. Unfortunately, my reaction to being busy is to just work harder. And whenever I'm stressed, I work harder. <laughs> it helps, though. It definitely puts me in a position where, like, uh, eventually I can relax. Or I just grow accustomed to it. I don't know. I guess I worked so hard during college, everything uh, thereafter has always felt just kind of like easy mode to me. 
was working so much. Freaking don't. Well, no, I don't know. Get art degree. Get an art degree if you want to get an art degree. Just remember, it's going to be an insane amount of work if you are looking into that. I just realized. Oh, dude, the the water texture looks really nice, actually. Also, the dumb fish, the dumb fish banner. So I gotta watch out for the uh, explosion explosion circles, which I've managed to get hit by. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought I was outside of. Uh, I thought I was outside of the circle. Then again, there's a lot of there's a lot of visual noise going on in this poor healer. Well, at least we killed the guy. Okay, where are these cannons? Oh, geez, they're covered in friends. Damn it. I might actually be screwed here. No, I'm not screwed here. It can't hit me. Well, I'm wailing on it. I just gotta remember to right click to get out of the way. But if we can take the uh, the catapult out. It'll probably help. Honestly, I guess as a one-man army, this didn't really work uh, too far on my my help. But at least I didn't die. That's that's a positive. Look on the bright side. Is there another catapult thing on the other side? No. Oh. There's those guys. Well, let's not piss them off. I guess the other thing I could look into, actually, as far as, like, basic ranged weapons goes, there's always the catapult. Uh, not the catapult. The, uh, the crossbow. That is a weapon type I don't think I've actually seen anybody use. Shame it doesn't, like, fit into some kind of overall melee, melee tree. Oh, dude, it would be super sweet if I could have, like, um... It would be super sweet if I could have a, uh... How many learning points is this? That's minor. That's definitely the kind of thing that I'm probably just going to want to grind slow. The minor bon benefits are not going to outweigh the uh, the learning point cost. But yeah, I don't think I've seen a single person run crossbow yet. Could be interesting. Interesting to look at. I'm noticing this guy's like swinging a. A torch. Oh! I wonder if you can wield a dagger in the offhand. Because if I can actually wield a dagger in the offhand, I wonder if I could do, um... I wonder if I could do a dagger and an axe. Now that might not be a bad maneuver. Uh, effectively, I want to... I want to, um... Get as many birds with one stone as possible. And seeing as I'm, I'm going full on Axe Master to begin with... That would factor in really well. I mean, torch could work too. I just don't know if torch is useful. There's shield mastery, but cannot tell you if uh, shield mastery. I mean, it probably pays dividends if you're a tank. Oh, we just lost the. Uh... Boop. We just lost the tank. And I'm dead. That's bad. Yeah, that was a bad... That was a really bad pull. Uh, let's just try again. I mean, honestly, we'll be okay. Just gotta... Not pull everybody. I'll have to I'll have to look at it because the idea of the idea of going like dual wielding would make the most amount of sense. I don't know if it's a thing. I just noticed the guy has the is it the Almighty Dink? No, he's got a pole arm. So it's the other one. It's blah. 
Yeah, he does have a torch. Unless the torch is by default an offhand weapon. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking, like, Great X, Great X is nice. But this way, this would open up a whole bunch of, like, various things to me. It would be super nice if I could actually, like, dual wield, like, any two melee weapons, but I don't think that's how it works. Well, I guess I don't have a single melee weapon on me. Equip, crafted by... No, it doesn't say anything but, like, hand. But that means nothing. Um, hi? I, oh, we never killed the other catapult trebuchet thing. It's still over there. It's still over there and still very capable of bombarding us. Ooh. Oh, we're up in the mercenary... Mercenary jackets. Well, honestly, that's definitely not something I'm going to put learning points into. That's part of the reason why I wasn't, uh, I wasn't particularly interested in throwing points into the... Uh, the Great Axe tree, because I'm still not entirely convinced I'm going to be using the Great Axe. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not even dodging anymore. I'm too tired. That's okay. How much money do I have? 40,000. Yeah, on a... Because mm, 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 mm. it seems like my next big purchase that I should probably aim for is, uh, is that next island upgrade. I'm not even using it, but... I've got a fairly deep discount because of um, my my short-term premium status. I don't know if I'm going to keep with that. I don't know. The learning points definitely do make like a huge difference. Combo that with a 50% uh, bonus. It really... What, that w what would that be? Yeah, wow, that really does reduce leveling speeds by like four-fifths. Holy crap. Because yeah, learning points let you spend learning points specifically to um, uh, you can spend learning points to skip, you know, two-thirds of the leveling process, but past that, 50% well, one-third of that is is gained via the premium EXP boost. Oof. No wonder. No wonder they want you to, like, go with that. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anybody that's gonna come... Oh, there's a melee guy that's coming out here. We've made mistakes. But he got one shot? Really? Oh, did he get hit by both of them? Is that what happened there? Either that or he's, he's using some crazy outdated stuff. Which I could also see. Well, we're almost done with this dungeon, so that means I can I can go and take a take a bedtime. Because it is late and I am tired. It is way late. I should have I should have stopped a while ago. You guys really need to learn how to dodge. Yeah, each one of these guys is worth like 200 or so. Leveling up actually will not take take that long. I think I'm going to untrack the... Uh, the mercenary set. Same thing with the Great X Specialist. And the mercenary jacket. Those will be absolutely worthwhile, but I just don't want to see them. Because I've got a bunch of other things that I can focus on. Like the fact that I'm actually about to hit the next learning point on these things. Because what's that? T6? E. What are we waiting for? Oh, we lost... Oh, we lost the guy. Why didn't he just wait? I do not know.
How much gold is premium? Oh my god. I was like, how much gold does it cost to buy, uh, or how much silver does it cost to buy one month of premium? That is extensive. I guess if you get to the very, very end, like, um, if you get to, like, the very, very end of the game, you could probably keep it going. No problem. Unfortunately, I feel like our tank is currently AFK. Nope, there he is. Okay. Well, I mean... Okay, so the, the mage in the back. Veteran crazed fishy. I guess it's fishy in shops. So I guess it's not terribly surprising. Okay, there we go. And we've got our, our next leather. Oh, I see. The enraged, probably. I wonder what I wonder if fishy would actually. If Fishy would enrage her, if it's just Chops that enrages. Owie. His basic attacks do like 200 HP. That is, that's rough. Would like to avoid. Was hurt. Okay, well. We, we got our stuff, we got our carrots, and we've got a learning point on Axe Fighter and a couple other things. Yeah. We might as well, uh, we might as well focus for those, because I think I'm going to st stick with leather just because I like how it looks. I want, I want that, I want that Hellion set, even though that might take some serious effort. But yeah, I'm going to go look at daggers. I mean, worst comes worst, I just buy a dagger and find out that it's no good. Oh, I'm here. Oh, but I, I already got what I needed, so I can just leave. See ya. And then I'll come back later and do mining, maybe. Or just do dungeons forever. Just live like a crazy, weird dungeon hermit. Then eventually figure out what various dungeons there are available and check out some of the high-end zones. And then go back and farm once I'm stupid powerful and have, like, a crazy donkey. Oh, yeah. I bet having one of those, like, crazy ox cart things would definitely assist in the whole um, getting crafting mining done and it sounded like they uh, they were going to do some like quality of life patching specifically for for crafting gathering and whatnot okay journeyman's dagger that's exactly what I was looking for So let's see if I can mix my battle axe with that dagger that I just left in the auction house. It looks like I can, maybe. Nope. What about a torch? This is wasteful. This is certainly wasteful. I'm kind of... Okay, so the torch is an offhander. It's a cooldown modifier and an attack speed bonus. I see. So that's how, that's how this works. So go, going down the torch tree doesn't actually specifically... There's also the nature staff thing, which is interesting. Oh, wait. Huh, nature staff is a healy thing. That's not what I was expecting. We've also got the mist collar and the leering cane. The CC boost. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just stick with the great axe. I'll toss these things away. I might use the torch eventually. And like the dagger could be interesting. I think this will this will be fine. Toss these away. I guess we've got a cape too. So let's get over here. Well, hmm, no, 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 no. I wanted to take a look at that that staff thing for a second. So we've got bow and arrow, which is probably what I'm going to go for, because we've got the adept's bow. 
Adepts of Warbow. I wonder what the difference is. Oh, interesting. The uh, bows actually have significantly less DPS. Okay, so there's bow. There's spear. Is it significantly less, actually? So there's the crossbow, and then there's these. So it does look like um, being up close and personal does boost your DPS by a fair bit. So it's the... Is it the Adept's Druidic Staff? No, the Nature Staff. Interesting, so I could go Healer. I was not fully expecting that. There's also the Quarter Staff. Seems like the Quarter Staff might actually be more of a... Yeah. That's more of a PvP item. So what do we have here? Pyromancer, Priest... So I do actually have access to healing. I'm just not sure if it's any good. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Let's just get a bow. So there's the journeyman's bow. Looks like there's only the journeyman's bow. Everything else is locked off. Well, maybe? Let's do ranged. Yeah, it's just the journeyman's bow. But yeah, this way, at the very least, we will have a spare weapon that I can pull out when I feel like pulling out. Uh, let's see. Do we want multi-shot or deadly shot? Let's do multi-shot, just because deadly shot takes so And let's go visit the guy that fixes all my shit. Who is where? Oh, he's up here. Okay, that's actually a lot easier to find than all the other ones. Ooh, that's pricey. Worth it, but pricey. And then I'm going to go put the battle axe away because I don't need it. 